Leave the window open, mother, I said. I could see birds flying outside over the common. It is getting breezy out there, mother said, the look of concern deeply etched into her face. I'll be all right, I told her. Her lips straightened and she turned from me. I knew she was crying. Tell me a story, mother, I said. Then I wanted to be quiet because it hurt to talk. She pulled out a book and read to me about a lost rabbit seeking its way home on a rainy day. I smiled and listened, but I know I fell asleep before the story ended. When I woke up, the window was closed and mother was gone. The book she'd been reading from lay open to the story lying on the table across the room. I knew I was dying. I felt myself being pulled away from this world. Mother wanted me to stay, but just out of reach in the vastness of space, I could feel encouragement, warmth, excitement, and welcoming. There were people I couldn't see urging me to come home. Their world was all light, while our world is one of shadows. Their world is full of joy, while ours is marred by pain and suffering. My body, the physical body, is weak, and I shudder as if cold, but I know I'm covered with several warm blankets. They aren't working as well as they used to. Mother comes into the room. She seems happy that my eyes are open. I want to hug her but my arms are too weak to lift. I think I'm going, Mother, I say. My voice is only a vague whisper. Going where, she asks. She must know, but is unable to admit it. I love you, Mother, and Da, too. Give Jenny a kiss for me. Matilda, she says using the lovely name she gave me when I arrived seven years ago. Don't go, hang on, she said. It is beautiful over there, I told her. I can see it now, like through the window. No, she said, tears falling. Don't go. I can't stop myself from going. It is like a story I'm not in control of. My mind is slipping away. My body can't move, can't hardly breathe. Angels, mother, I whisper. I can see them now behind you. Mother composes herself. She comes to my bed, sits down beside me, pulls my limp arm from under the covers and holds my hand. Go if you must, she said. When you see him, give my love to the Lord. Someday I'll be there too. I want to squeeze her hand, but have no energy to do so. Instead, I fall asleep again. Mother keeps watch over her little girl. I watch her from above. The angel now holds my hand, and I'm going home. <laughs>